All right, continuing with our lessons, this is lesson number two. Uh, we're going to uh, take off and climb to 2,500 feet. And in lesson two, we're going to learn how to make some turns uh, and how to approach the runway and how to land. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started. You go inside, the, this is, we're at, set your airplane, by the way, to Lawrence Airport and taxi to runway five, just like we did in the first lesson, and take off from runway five. And I'm going to switch to the um, virtual pilot mode here. And we're ready for takeoff. Increase the throttle. I check my elevators, make sure they're in the correct position for takeoff. It looks pretty good. Elevators are right here, remember? And we're off. Remember when you climb, you climb with full throttle until you uh, get to the altitude you want and then you push the yoke forward to uh, push the nose of the airplane down then you adjust the elevator to relieve the pressure the back pressure until the plane flies practically by itself and we'll look around where we're climbing over to the left here you'll notice is the Merrimack River we can use that as a reference to try it when we're coming back to help us find the airport and continue with our climb this is our altimeter to if you remember and we're right now we're at 1600 feet Climbing to 1,700 feet. Here's our vertical speed indicator. Indicates we're climbing at a rate of 750 uh, feet per minute. Remember, each one of these little increments is a uh, uh, 100 feet per minute. Our current speed over here is our speedometer is oh, about 75 knots. And we're not making any turns. Our attitude indicator shows that we're climbing. You can see the horizon is below the center mark here. And we're approaching 2,300 feet. When we get to 2,400, we're going to start pushing forward on the yoke and adjusting the elevator. I'm going to switch to the other cockpit mode, press F10 and push forward on the stick, level the plane off. Oop, a little too hard. And I'm going to adjust the trim. I'm going to put the nose down. It shows you right here, down. This is up, this is down. I want to put the nose down. Oh, one other thing I forgot is we we're supposed to cut back on the throttle. Bring it back to 2400 RPM. All right, push forward on the stick, on the yoke rather, and put the nose down. All right, we're right at 20, 2500 feet now. I'm letting, okay, it wants to climb, so that means we've got to use a little more elevator. Cut back on the throttle. The throttle RPM climbed up to 2,500. I want to set it at 2,400. There's the RPM right here, 2,400. And it looks like it's steadying down now, so we're at 2,500 feet. I'm going back to the virtual pilot mode. Press F9. The other cockpit mode was F10. And if we look over to the right, we can see the mouth of the Merrimack River. And we're going to make a turn to the toward the mouth of the Merrimack River here. And we're making a turn, uh, about a 15 degree turn. You, 
this and if you look in your att attitude indicator you'll see at the top that is little marks those marks each one is a 10 degree bank uh, 10 degree bank so there's 10 there's 20 there's 30 we were right in between we made a 15 degree bank we're going to fly this way for a little bit then we're going to turn around and follow the Merrimack River back and turn toward the airport All right, let's let's make our turn. We'll make a 20 degree turn to the left. Now as you turn, the plane wants to, the nose wants to go down because we're losing lift. So you have to pull back on the yoke a little bit. Sometimes you have to increase the throttle a little bit as you do that. And try and maintain your altitude as you turn. There it is, right at 20 degree bank. I'm going to keep turning until we see the Merrimack River. That's route, that two-lane road down there is Route 495. So the river should be coming up any second. There it is. There's the Merrimack River. And we're going to follow that back. Now if you increased your throttle when you made that turn to, to maintain, to stay level, don't forget to cut it back a little bit once you've completed your turn. And I already see the airport. Most airports have what's called VASI lights. I'm, I'm not sure I pronounce that right. It's V-A-S-I lights. And they're lights that show you when you're on the correct glide slope. And you can spot them from quite a, quite a ways off. If you look straight ahead now, you'll see there's a little red light. That's Lawrence Airport. And that's right. that light is right at the threshold of the airport. When it's all red, it means you're too low. When it's all white, it means you're too high. Now, I just know it was all red and it just turned white. And we're, we're pretty far away, but it's hard to say whether it's white and red. When it's white and red, you're on the correct glide slope. So it, it was white. It looks like it was red, rather. It just turned white. So that means we're probably in the red and white. We should start thinking about coming down right now. Also, we're not quite lined up with the runway, as you can see. So we should track to the right a little bit and then come left to line up perfectly with the runway. And we're going to cut the... First thing we have to do is slow down. So we cut all the throttle all the way and just hold the nose up with the yoke. And you'll notice the speed will bleed off very quickly. Once it gets below that gray mark, you can put in a notch of flaps. And since we're making... I'm going to make a direct... Uh, straight in straight in landing we're going to go full flaps put in all 30 degree so flaps we're going to when you once you do that you have you should adjust the elevators up bring your nose up and increase the throttle and start coming down Now I can see the airport and it's, as you can see, the Vassy lights are all white, which means we're too high. So we have to come, at, come down at a fairly fast rate. So I'm going to cut the throttle back quite a bit. We're lining up pretty good. I'm coming left to line up for a straight in approach, approach to the runway. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we're coming in kind of fast. I mean, we're coming, we're still kind of high. So we want to come down a little faster. And let's put the nose down a little bit. With the elevator. There we go. All right. Now we're 
are lined up beautifully with the runway. And I just saw a little red come on. One of the red lights come on in the back there. So that means we're on the correct glide slope. So I'm going to increase the throttle to slow our rate of descent. Okay, we're lined up perfect. Vasily light just went all white again, which means we're a little too high. Now it went red, so we're we're right on right on the money right now. It went back to white. We're probably on the high, we're just high end of the uh, uh, glide slope. So we'll cut back on the throttle a little more. Better to be high, too high than too low, by the way. Because you can always cut the throttle at the last minute and come down a little quicker. Now, a word about landing. When you land, you fly the plane onto the runway, and, and when you have the, th the threshold made, in other words, if, if you cut the throttle completely, you would still hit the runway. At, um, when, once you have it made, that's you do that's exactly what you do you cut the throttle all the way and bring the plane down just before you touch down you pull back on the yoke gently trying to hold the plane off off the runway and you you just keep holding it off the runway until the plane actually settles down onto the runway it loses lift and settles down on the runway that's the correct way to land it's the way to land it, if you land that way you land at the slowest possible speed which is what you want to accomplish. Now we're all white as you notice. Now we went back to red. I'm adjusting the throttle in little increments to try and maintain the correct glide slope. And we're coming in beautifully here, right on the center line. Vassy lights are white, are red and white. All right, now we have the runway made. I'm cutting the throttle, and I'm trying to hold the plane up. Trying to hold it up, trying to hold it up. Not too much, though. You don't want to overdo it. And we landed. And put on the brakes. Put up our flaps. And that's it. That's the end of lesson one, lesson two.